some of our, what we do here at North Dakota State uh, as far as defensive ends. Um, defensive tackles kind of got some similar drills, um, um, but just a little bit, uh, just a little bit different, just because of the, the run frames, um, the blocking, the, the blocking patterns that we get. Um, so I'm gonna just be focusing in primarily just on defensive ends, um, just we do a lot, especially playing in space and also kind of playing, um, playing in the box. All right, so I call these my everyday drills. That's why I got EDDs. Okay, things things that we try to do every day. All right, and the first one is just a basic get off, um, base down get off. All right, it's important too because when we talk about get offs, everything starts with our stance. All right, when we talk about base down get offs, we want to have our uh, in our stance. We want to be toe to in step a little bit, uh, slightly a little bit uh, behind the heel a little bit, depending on longer lever guys, long leg uh, leg guys. Uh, weight distribution. I want to I want to be loaded primarily on my upfield leg, the leg that's up, all right? I want to be loaded, more, more mental weight is loaded on that leg, on the balls of my toes, just so I can control my, my first step with my, with, my, uh, with my back leg. On the base down step, we want to try to aim to have it just a real short step, all right, in direction of your down hand. So as you always hear the term come on, replacing a down hand with your foot, with your get off. That tilt and my stance will put me in a perfect position all right, just so my footwork and my uh, angle um, is perfect so far as how you want to play your technique, whether it's a five technique, all right, or, or, or open five technique or anything like that, all right? So you will see just in these get-offs, we always want to talk about base down get-offs, all right? So they kind of already got the, uh, on one knee, kind of already start on one knee just to kind of get comfortable with the stance. So all they got to do now is just get up and get ready to go. And you can see we always talk about hair trigger. Soon as this ball goes, soon as this ball flinches, they are they are off with movement. And you can really see this is a really good job right here by this guy just replacing that hand. Replacing that hand. Step not too big, all right? Especially up here. Step not too big, just replacing and controlling it. So it's going to be real quick, choppy steps to get off with, but they give us enough time to redirect um, if it's like down block or anything to us, and it also gives it time to convert to a pass rush if it is passing base now. So you can see kind of loaded up on the front leg a little bit, reaching out. I always talk about helmet behind the um, behind the, um, the hand because the hand is going to be an indicator for us. I want to be credit card to the ball, credit card alignment to the ball. So that, that hand is my indicator. Anything behind it, let me know I'm safe as far as not being off sides. So only thing I like about this is, first of all, you can see the get off, just the difference. All right, he's up, he's going. All right, I don't like how he popped it straight up. I like for him to be out instead of up. You can see he never moves. So that's another big thing that we always want to preach. We always want to preach get off, all right, and movement. And sometimes you just pause it in a frame, all right, pause it in a frame just to, just to show these guys they get off and how late they are at, at times, all right? Same thing, move, all right, late, pop it straight up. Don't like the pad level, but I like this pad level right here, the drive and, and drive phase, just like track, drive phase, all right, good arm action. All right, so but kind of going back to this, this is this is my philosophy. Um, if you can't see this, sorry if you can't see it. I know it's probably a little choppy, but I'm gonna go ahead and read it off for you. All right, to to build a brushman from the ground up, it starts with orderly progression, stance. All right, stance is important with, with everything we do. All right, we can't tip things off. Like if you want some type of line movement, we can't be leaning one way um, just because we feel comfortable with with uh, running that 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 that, that lateral movement. All right, we got to get comfortable and make everything look the same. No tip-offs. All right, our, 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 our base down stance should look just like our third down stance. All right, shouldn't really be tipping anything off like that. All right, develop the basic skills needed to perform and function in our own in our system. Execute proper technique. 